Adarni Yogesh ji, who is himself an international recruiter, head hunter, and the job man himself. He is an investment banker. He is a career coach, a recruitment expert. He is currently a sales director at Conferry. He has earlier been the VP head of acquisition at Z Media. He is an extensive network amongst the top corporate professionals, industry veterans. and has placed over 100 top managers at the cxo level so far in fact if you talk about uh, twitter india's previous ceo that person has also placed by adarni yogeshi himself so we're very lucky to be hearing the next the next session for today is going to be achieving your golden career in a post covid ai driven automated world none of you want to miss out and we do not always get an opportunity to be addressed by senior cei leaders of this stature but here they hear for us in a selfless manner because they are part of our family so one of our interns did an om namah shivaya to the family yes we are a family and let us now go on to the next session on achieving your golden career in a post covid ai driven automated world so without further ado uh, adarni yogesh ji i would request you to please a conductive session and i would also request all interns to become very active and uh, because it will be a very interactive session so ji om namah shivaya adarni yogesh ji with that i hand over to you om namah shivaya om namah shivaya shraddha ji thank you so much and om namah shivaya to everyone pranam to our guru ji rashtriya shishi lairi guru ji guru mata ji and everybody else on this call uh you were engaging session tha i must uh, compliment everyone on this session uh for the i would say the practicality of what was mentioned jo kuch bhi abhi bataya gaya wo itna practical tha aur directly aapko is samay agar help ki zarurat hai to unhone aapko ek bahut acche framework mein akshay ji ne riya ji ne shubha ji sadha sab ne aapko ek bahut acche practical framework mein Uh, ये सब कुछ दिखाया है इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन आई विल ट्राई एंड एड्रेस सम ऑफ द पॉइंट्स बिकॉज इन माय पोजीशन आई एम एक्चुअली ऑन द अदर साइड आई एम ऑन द साइड वेयर आई एम एक्चुअली इंटरव्यूइंग नॉट ओनली पीपल लाइक यू बट आल्सो पीपल हु आर हायरिंग पीपल लाइक यू सीनियर एग्जीक्यूटिव बट आई हैव डन अ लॉट ऑफ वर्क इन कैंपस हायरिंग बहुत से मेरे इंसाइट्स हैं जो मैं शेयर करना चाहता हूं और यही सी आई प्रोग्राम का यूनिक इनिशिएटिव है ये ऑफरिंग है कि जो प्रैक्टिकल एस्पेक्ट्स हैं हम उसी की बात करते हैं तो मैं कोशिश करूंगा दैट आई विल ओनली टॉक अबाउट दी एस्पेक्ट्स विच there are lots of things which have already been covered i'll try and focus on things which probably uh, i need to elaborate on the first thing that i will request you is to just look at your screen and <clears throat> on the top of your screen aapko dikhega menti.com m e n t i.com so if uh, you are watching this on your laptops then please use your smartphone and enter this code if you are already watching this on your smartphone then i would suggest you activate your laptop because this is your chance to probably interact with someone like me jo behind the scenes hai uh, aur aapko wo insights de sakta hai jo shayad bahut kam log de sakte hain agar aap is samay placement ke liye struggle kar rahe hain so there is something wrong because this is probably the best time in the last 15 years for freshers maybe the last 20 years this is a great time to not only get through as akshay ji was talking about the top 4 of the big 4 but aajkal bahut se aise startups hain jahan par amazing career opportunities hain so if you log on to mentee.com we can get started uh and if you can just press on the the heart button there to like i will then understand that people are logging on so this number 2 is me 5 very good because the more you interact uh with me the the better i will be able to make my narrative and and actually help all of you and just to reiterate to what was said before this abhi aapko samjhaya gaya ki 
अगर आप एल ले आते हैं तो ये वन ऑन वन सेशन भी हो सकता है आपके साथ और ये एक बहुत यूनिक और प्रेशस अपॉर्चुनिटी है जिसको आपको मिस नहीं करना चाहिए सो वर्क हार्ड यू नो फॉलो व्हाट इज बीइंग सेड एंड फोकस ऑन गेटिंग द एलओआर सो आई है 14 पीपल 15 नाउ सो एज यू कीप लॉगिंग ऑन आई विल जस्ट मूव आई वांट टू जस्ट स्टार्ट विद समथिंग जिस पे बहुत स्ट्रेस किया गया है अभी पीछे दैट डोंट वेट टू बी रेडी a lot of us think that you know let's just give it some time mai zara apna foundation sahi kar lo let me you know get ready before i actually uh, start looking for a dream job or start looking in, uh, to do well in my career the key to success is to start now even if you're not ready it doesn't matter but you start now and how do you get ready when you have started is something that we will also try and explain to you but it's very important to understand that there is no right timing to anything so what is it that you need to do the fundamental question and for those who have logged in you will see on the screen before you that there is an option you select that option you know why should you work what motivates you to work and just submit so we see that some people are being honest that they want to work for high ctcs some people want to work for prestige employer brand some people have to work there's no other option i have only four responses seven okay okay great so finally so there is no right answer here huh? by the way i am not giving you anything where there is a right or wrong answer i am asking you to be honest aap honestly bataiye ki aapko kya motivate karta hai and all of these are equally important for those who are working for passion and interest in the field it's very important to understand ki pehli naukri aapko aapke pasand ki nahi milegi zaruri nahi ki milegi agar mil gayi to aap bahut lucky hain लेकिन जो दूसरी जॉब है आपको जो सेकंड जॉब आप चेंज करेंगे आफ्टर इस्टेब्लिशिंग योर सेल्फ एंड गेनिंग क्रिटिकल स्किल्स इन द फर्स्ट कैन बी बिकॉज ऑफ पैशन एंड इंटरेस्ट इन द फील्ड कैन बी समथिंग यू आर पैशनेट अबाउट अल्टीमेटली अगर आप अपने पैशन को अपने करियर के साथ इंटरसेक्ट कर देंगे तो आप बहुत सक्सेसफुल होंगे जो लोग हाई सिटी से मोटिवेटेड हैं वो लोग भी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है डोंट वर्क फॉर मनी अलोन बट ये सिटी सी इज क्वाइट इंपॉर्टेंट people who are working for employer brand like the people who want to work for the big four there are pitfalls there are benefits and of course there are all of us have to work bahut kam aise log hote hain jo shayad rahul gandhi ki tarah jinko kaam karne ki zarurat nahi hai aise bahut kam log hote hain duniya mein zyada tar log modi ya yogi ki tarah hote hain jinko mehnat karni padti hai roz prime minister banne ke baad bhi 18 20 ghante roz kaam karna padta hai so if you have to work because you have to support your family we are all there but that cannot be the sole reason so now how does this link to my next section so what is learning about and ye cai ka agar aap guru ji ka koi bhi aapne tatva ke bare mein padha ho to holistic empowerment ki baat hoti hai और होलिस्टिक एम्पावरमेंट का क्या मतलब है उसका मतलब है डोंट वर्क फॉर मनी अलोन तो पीपल आर ओनली वर्किंग फॉर अ हाई सिटी यू विल अल्टीमेटली फील एम्प्टी अ फ्यू इयर्स इनटू योर करियर व्हेन यू हैव प्रोबेबली अकम्पलिश्ड ऑल योर फाइनेंशियल गोल्स और मोस्ट ऑफ देम देन वॉट डू यू डू इफ पैशन ड्राइव यू देन it is far easier to recover from setbacks it is far easier to understand and motivate yourself and keep working and for those who are driven by an employer brand always remember kpmg pwc deloitte ye sab bade samundar hain oceans hain aur iske andar aap ek choti si machli ban kar jee sakte hain tarakki bhi kar sakte hain but growth slow hogi lekin agar aap kisi startup mein jate hain और उस स्टार्टअप में जैसे क्रेड है 
या ड्रीम इलेवन है जो नई जो नई कंपनीज हैं यू आर फास्ट ग्रोइंग यू नो लुकिंग टू बिकम वन बिलियन टू बिलियन फाइव बिलियन डॉलर कंपनीज एंड हाईली प्रॉफिटेबल लेट मी टेल यू उसके अंदर यू कैन स्ट्रेट अवे ज्वाइन एज इवन एन एबीपी इफ यू हैव द राइट स्किल योर सेकेंड जॉब कुड बी विद दीज गाइज सो वॉट ड्राइव यू पहले वो आइडेंटिफाई कीजिए आप एवरीबडी हैज डिफरेंट ड्राइवर्स आइडेंटिफाई दोज ड्राइवर्स और we all read about this in uh, in our mbas you know maslow's hierarchy which basically means we have to go through our life in a sequential manner ki pehle hum apni needs puri karenge fir hum aage badhenge fir ultimately hum apni spiritual needs fulfill karenge fortunately we are born in a country and we belong to the whole ethos of this country is built on on the hindu thought which means that you can do all of it simultaneously and that is what we encourage you to do ki aap wo 60 70 ki umar mein mat wait kijiye bill gates kitna charity karne ke liye you could start today but you can do all of that simultaneously it doesn't have to be a uh, something that you do sequentially and work should not consume you karm karna important hai but it cannot be all that you do character is the only thing that is going to sustain you in your life and your career and if you do not have character and if you don't have principles which you know uh, bind your personality you will find it very difficult to rise in your career because the biggest thing any recruiter or any hiring manager looks for is character and character has different components but character is very important and of course skills this is one thing that you will have to in this current world that we are living in skills are changing at such a rapid pace let me tell you this site that i am on menti.com when they started 5 years ago this interactive presentation was a revolution aaj ye zoom aur teams ke era mein ye kuch bhi nahi hai because jo kuch functionality inki hai jo us samay unique thi aaj zoom aur teams mein aapko free mein milti hai in fact i should also stop using menti and just integrate all of this to teams that is how fast technology is changing that is how fast skills are evolving aur agar aap apne ko flexible nahi banayenge aur continuous learning nahi rakhenge apni life mein you will fall short so be very very conscious that you are at an age where as a fresher in the next 5 years you will move so fast that if you look back 5 years you will suddenly think that you were absolutely illiterate when you started because everything is going to change it's continuous change and that will continue this is not going to stop now quickly again this is your chance to ask me and you know what scares you before an interview i have a very specific question here but what scares you before an interview and then we'll quickly look at the answer and see how you can overcome those fears what is what is your fear before an interview What is your biggest fear before an interview? Just enter that and just send me a comment. Are you able to do that? Okay. Okay. Communication barrier, stage fright, uncertainty of what they'll ask. i feel that i am forgetting everything i know very good anything else okay not knowing the right answer of course that's there with everything lack of experience that is what cai is here for attend your master classes listen to all of us this fear will go away i have stammering that is my greatest fear fear of fumbling same thing questions that i don't know the answer to uncomfortable okay so more or less everybody is ranging around they will so being clueless is again being ignorant then again uh, somebody had a speech problem somebody says i speak very fast lack of confidence so what is the secret sauce what are we looking at see we all realize when we take interviews of freshers that nobody is perfect right so what is the right answer what do you need to do before an interview and let me just you know click on everything so that you can see all of this and i can just take you through all of this the most important aspect in an interview is preparation and i am astounded 
हर सेशन में मैं यही कहता हूं कि मैं बहुत कई बार अचरज में आ जाता हूं हैरान हो जाता हूं जब मैं इंटरव्यू करता हूं लोगों को और देखता हूं कि उन्होंने बेसिक प्रेपरेशन भी नहीं की और प्रेपरेशन का मतलब ये नहीं होता कि आप वेबसाइट पे चले गए आपने थोड़ा सा ब्राउज कर लिया थोड़ा सा गूगल कर लिया दैट इज नॉट प्रेपरेशन इंटेंसिव कंपनी रिसर्च अगर आप एक इंटरव्यू में जा रहे हैं आजकल ये एक्सक्यूज नहीं है लैक ऑफ सफिशियंट सोर्सेज आजकल आपके पास ओवर ऑफ सोर्सेज है आपके पास न्यूमरस साइट्स हैं आप गूगल पे जाइए एंड एवरीथिंग इज फ्री कहीं पैसा नहीं देना आपको आपको अगर किसी कंपनी कोई लिस्टेड कंपनी के बारे में कोई इंफॉर्मेशन चाहिए तो आपको शेयर खान पे मिल जाएगी आपको पैसे भी नहीं देने आपको हर चीज अवेलेबल है सिर्फ एक चीज आपको नहीं है वो आपकी मेहनत जो आपको खुद करनी है बाकी एवरीथिंग इज अवेलेबल जब हम लोग इंटरव्यू के लिए जाते थे हमें लाइब्रेरीज में जाना पड़ता था हमें लाइब्रेरीज में जाके हाथ पाँव जोड़ के इन्फॉर्मेशन लानी पड़ती थी आजकल आपको स्मार्टफोन पर बैठ के वो इन्फॉर्मेशन मिल जाती है सो इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पर्सनल ग्रूमिंग अगेन आई एम आई एम अस्पनिस्ड कि इवन ऑन वर्चुअल इंटरव्यूज वेन पीपल कम और आजकल तो जो ये मिलेनियम के बाद की जो जनरेशन है ये तो शेव करने में बिलीव ही नहीं करती फॉर मैन Uh, women of course are you know still very very conscious of the way they look and the way they present themselves but men i have found you know they they will come they think that you know looking funky is just keeping your hair flying all over the place in a virtual interview sirf aapka chehra dikhta hai aur agar aapne wo bhi agar theek se aapne nahi rakha hai to it's a it's a straight put off iska matlab aap value nahi karte hamare uh, time so personal grooming jisko hum achran kehte hain bahut zaruri hai कि आप आपने एक एफर्ट किया एक अच्छा सा सूट पहन के आप इवन इंटरव्यू में आप अटेंड कर रहे हैं और समी वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट आई स्पीक वेरी फास्ट इफ यू स्पीक लेस देन यू इफ यू हैव फ्यूअर वर्ड्स टू स्पीक देन देर नथिंग टू स्पीक फास्ट ब्रेविटी बी ब्रीफ कोई आपसे एक सवाल पूछता है कि भाई टेल मी अबाउट योर सेल्फ सो डोंट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम किंडर गार्डन एंड गो राइट अप टू योर प्रेजेंट स्टेट Three lines, two lines about yourself. That's it. Striking a rapport. This is very important. This is called samvad. कहते हैं अपना भी कहते हैं और ये overlook नहीं हो सकता. आपको बहुत जरूरी है कि जो आपका interview ले रहा है उसके साथ आपका एक rapport हो, एक आपके बीच में एक connection हो. वो तभी होता है अगर आप उसकी बात सुने और वो आपकी बात सुने. फिर अगर आपने प्रेपरेशन की है तो दो तीन सवाल होने चाहिए कंपनी के बारे में सब इंटेलिजेंट क्वेश्चंस ऑन ऑन योर जॉब प्रोफाइल ऑन ऑन द ऑन द कंपनी इंटेलिजेंट क्वेश्चन का मतलब ये नहीं होता एनी क्वेश्चन इंटेलिजेंट क्वेश्चन मींस यू यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट यू नो आई रेड ऑन गूगल दैट योर कंपनी इज लुकिंग एट इन्वेस्टिंग इन सोलर पार सो यू नो वॉट टेक्नोलॉजी आई यू वॉट ट्राइंग टू ब्रिंग इन यू नो वॉट इज डिफरेंट बिकॉज सोलर पार में एक्स वाई जी इज ऑलरेडी डूइंग दिस ABC is already doing this. Now that's an intelligent question. They will love it. And know your own resume. Awareness. A lot of you don't even read your own resume. आप के अपने resume में spelling mistakes होते हैं. कहीं जगह आपने कहीं से कोई cut and paste किया होता है. उसने लिखा मैं badminton champion था तो आप भी वही चीज़ लिख देते हैं. And then you get caught. And then that reflects very badly on you. And for people who said that I stammer and or I am nervous, you know there are standard questions in an interview. Record yourself and play it back to your friends, your parents. Take an opinion, play it back to yourself, and improve. Is it okay? Of course, it's absolutely okay to say. If you don't know an answer, so let me give you the situation. I ask you a question, you don't know the answer. Do you think you can create an answer? You can't, right? Can you bluff? Do you think I'm a fool? You can't bluff me. So say I don't know. I'm sorry. I I, I should have done better research. I don't know the answer to this question, but since you've asked this and I don't know the answer, can you help me with the answer? It's a very interesting question. Can I know the answer? So you turn the narrative. What are the things we should cover while researching? Well, the primary focus of your research should be on what the company does. What are their LOBs, lines of business? What are their revenues? You know, what are they expanding on? Where are they investing? Have there been any senior management changes in the past? You know, this is basic research. You are not going to become an expert in the company, but you should know basics about the company. 
कि आपकी कंपनी ये कोर बिजनेस करती है और इस सेगमेंट में ग्रो कर रही है और ये आपके वो डिविजन हैं जो प्रॉफिटेबल हैं ये सब आपको कंपनी के एनुअल रिपोर्ट में मिल जाएगा आप सिर्फ जो चेयरमैन का जो स्पीच है वही पढ़ लीजिए उसी के अंदर आपको सब पता चल जाएगा उसके बाद में यू कैन गो टू स्पेसिफिक सो इफ यू हैव स्टैमरिंग एंड यू नो दैट्स अ प्रॉब्लम दैट्स ग्रेट द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज की यू हैव आइडेंटिफाइड दैट यू हैव स्टैमरिंग इज अ प्रॉब्लम बट इफ यू प्रेजेंट योर ओन सेल्फ एज अ प्रॉब्लम केस डू यू थिंक एनी बडी विल हायर यू so i suggest you go to a, you know you go to youtube and you know in america's got talent there is a person with a speech impediment there's a child on a wheelchair with a speech impediment who who is unable to walk and and has a huge problem in talking but that person uh uses technology uses an ipad uses an automated language to crack jokes it's highly inspirational so how do you get over that impediment is what the interviewer is looking at The research role nobody wants you to be giving speeches so how do you overcome your own impediment is what the interviewer is going to you know be this is exactly what the interviewer is looking for so what are they looking for again content do you know about your domain if you are interviewing for a marketing role do you understand what is marketing do you have any examples of successful marketing campaigns do you understand what the company does and that is where your research has to be what are they interviewing you for and who is interviewing you that you should know and that is content comes through preparation passion how badly do you need the job so for somebody who stammers that person if that person is presenting himself or herself with this impediment and they are still trying to do their best they are still trying to overcome that that shows passion that is what people hire for they don't care if you you know unless you are in a in a in a great sales job nobody cares if you stammer or not it doesn't matter most jobs don't require you to really do a lot of verbal communication but don't think it's a negative don't weigh yourself down that passion and that energy has to come through to, to the interviewer then positivity no negative comments most people in campus interviews now of course everything is virtual but even in group discussions they try and push the other person down so for example if i am with a batchmate and i know that batchmate is weaker in communication than i am i will try and put that person down by some smart personal comments or i'll try and shout that person down don't do that and don't have negative comments about especially in an interview about your your college or about what they did not do for you don't don't do that be positive because tomorrow nobody wants to hire somebody who will come and you know talk bad about their company body language is important how confident are you you know how poised are you and the base, basic question everybody every hiring manager says is do i want to see this person in my cafeteria every day do i really want to meet this person agar ye person itna negative hai agar ye person under confident hai to meri company mein fit nahi hota and would i want my clients to interact with this person if you have a client facing role that's the basic question they are asking ki agar ye mere hi zoom interview mein aise baal bina comb kiye aa gaya aise daadi uski ajeeb si bani hui hai to main isko kyun hire karunga ye kal yahi karega and how do you handle uncomfortable positions you know especially questions like somebody just said i don't know so are you, how are you saying that i don't know is it is it are you being cocky i don't know the answer don't ask me this question or are you saying listen i'm sorry that's a great question i don't know can you please explain you know the answer it's fantastic i mean but you know i really didn't think about this so all of this is what the interviewer is looking for basically they are looking for how quick you are on your feet and ultimately how will they fit into my company culture so how do i excel in group discussion is actually the next topic so thanks that's a good good segue for me so this is it and it's self explanatory i don't have to even go through all these points just quickly have a look at these and and it's very simple you know um, and and i know that uh, probably shubhra ji covers it in one of her master classes so you know listen to listen to her but but these are obvious stuff be professional be well researched you don't know it all you're a fresher after all but are you smart enough to engage somebody who has worked for this company for multiple years 
ultimately we are looking for people who are going to drive this company 10 years from now so are you those people that's what you have to and then this is quite simple right very simple to do again what is virtual etiquette this is also very important now again most of it i've already covered and the most important part here is two or three things you have to note note one is that your session when you are being interviewed is probably being recorded so in punjabi we call this as fattas you know a lot of times in interviews we got away with, with fibs or fattas we'll say something which we don't really mean avoid that in a recorded interview because normally what happens is when there is a conflict between hiring someone they play it back to each other and that is the time you'll get caught because they will then say hey this person says that he played cricket for for india or maybe he played cricket for the district it's not even mentioned on this person's resume to kahin kuch garbad hai so don't say that and the second thing on is on assessments a lot of companies especially the the big ones make you do assessments and all of these assessments are proctored proctored means that they are taking uh, uh, photos of you while you are doing this assessment and you don't know they are taking photos so they are taking photos all the time and those photographs go along with the assessment result so when I, if i i have seen it many times that there is a person standing behind the person who is doing the assessment giving the answers so what does that mean immediate disqualification there are people who are googling and see it in the photograph so thank you very much so don't make these basic mistakes right be aware of proctoring everybody is proctoring they are all using your camera when you are doing the assessment so be very careful now again a question for you what do you aspire to become in 5 to 10 years okay fantastic excellent so we have a big tussle between really successful and manager and above so we have 12 out of the 17 people so far six who are basically saying we don't know and six who are saying we are satisfied with anything there are five people so now there are 13 so quickly if you look at this and you look at it you basically saying that most of us really don't know what i aspire to become in 5 to 10 years and that is very risky because this is one question that you will definitely get in an interview so you should be prepared you can't say i want to be really successful what does that mean we don't know and if you tell somebody i want to be a cxo in 5 to 10 years the person interviewing will tell you main to 20 saal mein bana nahi tum kaise 5 saal mein ban jaoge mujhe batao so you have to be very careful so what is it what is the right answer to this the right answer to this is to realize that growth is incremental incremental means one step at a time you don't take huge jumps if you take a huge jump for example it's called mountain sickness and mountain sickness is when you take a helicopter and you go straight to the top of a mountain which is probably 8000 feet above sea level and when you do that when you take a chopper and go to the top you get mountain sickness because you're not acclimatized to that height that is why before you start climbing mount everest you have one and a half months at base camp where you get used to high altitude less oxygen the extreme cold so if too much happens too soon a lot of us face mountain sickness and fail so career growth has to be staggered one step at a time and job satisfaction is the biggest myth the biggest lie that people talk about there is no such thing as job satisfaction there is only satisfaction and satisfaction comes from like i said our basic hindu philosophy apna karm karo aur phal ki ichha mat karo that is the basic thing aap mehnat karo then you are still young you will have eureka moments your eureka moments are breakthrough moments the people who really make it big are people who encash these eureka moments and the ones who are left behind 
forget about these eureka moments don't take the risk and don't get there this could be a great job this could be a great opportunity could be a great innovation whatever and you have to be relentless nirantarta make every day count so every day especially at the age you are you must be learning something new the biggest paradox is that you keep waiting all your life to be successful and when you finally become successful you can't enjoy it so basically what that means is and and i give you a, an example of an uncle of mine who struggled a lot in his initial years and he said that look when i was growing up i always wanted to buy a chalk bar it was too expensive i couldn't afford it because my parents were not that rich and today at the age of 65 i can buy the whole cart but i can't eat it because i am not allowed sugar so that's the paradox it's not necessary that you will have something purely because you can afford it so enjoy the journey sadhana mein sukh hai aap sadhana isliye karo aur guru ji ye kehte hain ki sadhana karo sadhana ke liye you're working for the pleasure of working for your passion and that makes you happy and you will then realize success and the classic tortoise versus the hare you know slow and steady wins the race of course there are some hares like you'll say oh you know but bill gates jumped the queue oh well steve jobs did something exceptional oh you know zuckerberg well if you can be a zuckerberg then you don't need to be a part of cei then you should probably sponsor cei and we'll be happy you know to learn from you but how many zuckerbergs are there most of us want to work for him so if you are part of that pack patience slow and steady you will ultimately win the race so what can i do and this is true today what i am sharing with you now is absolutely current this is this is like a post covid uh um, sort of analysis or the, the latest research that i am i am sharing with you that the unexpected is now going to be the norm so you need to anticipate as best as you can and you have to be open to criticism you have to be open to feedback uh, be your own best friend but listen to what you don't want to hear and that is sometimes what people don't do and when when you become close to hearing and you think you are the best person around you stop growing and that is fatal get on with it plan but don't spend all your time in planning then learn innovate and and you know you have to continuously keep learning this wasn't true when we were growing up by the way we got an engineering degree that was it but now if you get an engineering degree in 5 years the entire skill set will change the entire way of working will change so you have continuously keep learning all your life communicate you need to connect that's what samvad does for you display courage and give give hope and that's what shri ram tatva is all about just keep you know you have to go to youtube and listen to what guru ji he speaks about it beautifully this is what shri ram tatva is how can you be a good follower a good leader if you are not a good follower and you have to be all in one and that is the essence of what shri ram tatva is so go there and listen to him he explains it beautifully much better than i can and never repeat mistakes that is the key to success but mistakes will happen there is no there is no um, silver bullet you will make mistakes but learn from them so in conclusion if you have followed everything this is what steve jobs said he he died and gave the autobiography of a yogi uh, to the people who turned up at his funeral service and all that you know we talked about was that love what you do sadhana sukh that is what guruji says and if you listen to him and you listen to his his fantastic words on youtube all of this will come together for you don't wait for maslo don't wait for him don't wait for 20 years you can discover it today and you can make a success out of your career today why should you wait 20 years and and you can have your spiritual development along with your career development nobody stops you so in essence hindutva is the essence of indian spiritualism which is making global leaders and that is why today the whole world is forced to hire indians as their ceos for years they have resisted 
but now every major technology company every major company now including now the uh, current head of chanel somebody i know very well the hr head of uh, unilever lena nair she has just moved to chanel and she was an hr person now she is the ceo of the largest beauty cosmetics company in the world the whole world is now waking up to indian spiritualism you were born with it so use it associate with cai and i will again urge you go for the lor and aapko jo jo jisne guru ji ke वक्तव्य नहीं सुने हैं YouTube में सब काम छोड़ के आज आप वही करो पहले एंड ट्रस्ट में आपको जो गाइडेंस गुरुजी से मिल सकती है वो हम में से कोई नहीं दे सकता हम आपको प्रैक्टिकल टूल्स दे सकते हैं लेकिन जो डिवाइन इंटरवेंशन है वो वही वहीं से मिलेगी और इन दोनों का जब आप समन्वय करेंगे वेन यू इंटीग्रेट दीज टू नो बडी कैन स्टॉप यू फ्रॉम सक्सीडिंग So with that, I hand it back to Shraddha. I'm sorry I took some extra time, but Om Namah Shivaya.